Evan Pena. I'm the global red team lead here at FireEye Mandiant, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about red teaming. Red teaming is a no holds bar, real attack scenario that's actually gonna be compromising a customer that hires us to do this. And we will go on the internet and do open source intelligence to build an attack surface against that organization so that we can use that to gain an initial foothold into the environment. And once we're in, we continue from there like a real attacker would. Escalating privileges, lateral movement, all the way to accomplishing the objective, which is generally going to be simulating the theft of your critical assets. Organizations think that they're prepared for a breach until they actually go through a simulation and sometimes prove that they're not really prepared for a breach. You want to actually validate the effectiveness of your detection and response capabilities. You know, a lot of companies will go through a penetration test, which is great for identifying gaps and misconfigurations in your network but a red team will take that to the next level. We operate using real C2 traffic from the internet, and we actually go through real attack TTPs as an attacker were to be compromised in your environment. So the red team really is geared towards people that want to identify those gaps and misconfigurations and also be able to validate their detection and response capabilities. We always say to our customers, it's better to receive a report instead of become a negative headline. The advantage of doing a red team operation with FireEye Mandiant is that you benefit from the frontline experience that we get from our incident response engagements and our intelligence that we get from these investigations. This intel is actually used in our red team methodology. We take what attackers are doing it, making it better, and actually applying it to our methodologies. So if you think you're ready for a red team, please contact us to learn more.